Hello and welcome to Quarries of Scred. If you're truly lost in the mad high lot of flows, it's hard to just flip and glow to you. Boxes, man, and good as fuck at this 13. And all around neutral guy. Let's go do this daily seed. Because it is fun. And I'm going to die very briefly. So, it's not going to be a very long video. Unless I actually don't fail. The likelihood of that is minimal. But there's hope. For one, for example, we have yet to die. We don't know how long that will last, though. This game takes every chance to kill you. At least if you get to, shall we say, comfortable with yourself. With your ability to mine things out. For example, if I had gone one deeper, I would have already been dead. Which would have been horrible. Oh, oh, something fell somewhere. I hope nothing got destroyed. Oh, look at the temptation, but, you know, that would have killed me. It's basically what this game is all about. Risk analysis. In most cases, there is no analysis to be done because everything kills you. <laughs> oh, well. Alright, so, can I... Oh, no, I cannot get there. Okay. One option I do have is to go ahead and get myself some mines. So I can mine out this particular zone. But, uh, on the other hand, we can see if we can get something else from somewhere. Ooh, dirt is really expensive. You could say it's dirt cheap. In my head, Canon, dirt cheap actually is slang for really expensive stuff in 9 create <laughs> seeds. So I'm gonna take all this dirt. It's mine now. I can keep on rolling, rolling, rolling all at once, but it's mine now. Wait, I need to find a way to safely retrieve this dirt as well. Can't get those two though. Damn it. Get all the dirt I can. It's a dirty job, but someone has to do it. Alright then. Then we have a big stone wall which we can't pass through unless we get mines which we will not be able to use, harness, all that well either way, but oh no mushrooms, not going there. I haven't actually ever had problems with mushrooms just because I've ignored them. So yeah, let's just not go to this zone and we'll be fine. Well, these mushrooms on the other hand might be more dangerous. Oh well, uh, let's see if we can actually work around this situation. And uh, not dead. Always an important bit in games like this. Don't dead. No dead. Unless you have a spare shell, but that kind of limits the entirety of your s score and such. So I don't. Know if that's actually any good because you know you don't get to keep whatever you were mining, or do you? I don't think you do. It certainly did feel like it. I was able to keep everything. Oh, this is disappointing. Unless I do this, but I don't do magic. Get me that red gem. Yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, nice. Ah, no, I cannot do that there. I can do that. Like this. Now, the important thing for me to do is not to get to the mushrooms. Because the mushrooms will want to expand to the entirety of the world and take over. From my understanding, anyway. Oh, that's safe. Cool. Sometimes paranoia takes hold and you just expect everything to kill you. Because in most cases, everything will kill you. Yep. Get that down there. Yes, get everything, 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 everything. Greed is good. Unless you die. 
at which point you will curse your greed and wonder why you were greedy in the first place. Most likely for a higher score because daily seeds have the bragging rights attached to them. <sighs> I was very tempted to break one of those dirt blocks, but um, that could be lethal unless I did this. In which case, it was not lethal, but simply very dangerous. Basically, in most cases, that risk does not pay for itself. So, avoid if you can. Why did I do this? We're too close to the mushrooms. I should leave the mushroom zone. Way too close to the mushrooms. Almost activated some before. Wait, 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 get the gem. <coughs> where was I? Too close to the mushrooms, yeah. That's where I was. Don't get too close to the mushrooms, they're very dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. In fact, evacuate the zone immediately. There's no nothing left in this zone for me to gather. Leave your greed. Leave the zone. You can also get this bridge on. Leave the zone, Andres. Stop this. It's too dangerous. Too dangerous by far. Hmm. I guess I could also clear up this zone a little. Though I may check the other zones for maybe there are a bit safer than Mushroom Paradise. Do I have mines? I haven't actually ever touched the mushroom, so I don't know if they kill you immediately or if they're just a, a matter of uh, surrounding you completely and thus dooming you anyway. I don't know. Anyway, let's not go to the wall with the mushrooms. Instead, let's try and loot everything else. Why am I going closer to the mushrooms? Don't go closer to the mushrooms. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Hmm, if I blew this up, I could go deeper. Let's do that. And... No, that didn't work. I have to blow this up as well. So let's get these gems. And then let's take a look. Because that's all we can do. Take a look. Of course we have mines. So we can see if there is a zone on the ground here which may hold treasures treasures very much worth getting so glacier for example a green plant uh, which is apparently very valuable probably some sort of healing properties or whatever probably cure for cancer or something um, not here. Alright, and let's get those. Uh, getting the gems from below is more dangerous, but uh, also gives you score immediately. Instant credits. So on one hand it's not really worth it, on the other hand it pays for itself. Wait, what I mean is that on one hand it's really risky can most certainly be worth it. Unless you die. In which case it wasn't worth it. Once again, risk analysis. That's what you need to do. For example, don't do the, what I'm doing right now because I'm most likely going to get killed. Especially if I had accidentally done what I was planning to do and go up another step. Luckily the keyboard did not respond to my accidental button pressing. Good. It's like, sometimes, my computer is just broken enough to know what I need or to do. Which is to be broken enough for me to not die in cards of squared. Oh, for fuck's sake. That could have gone bad. That could have gone real bad. I just need to figure out how to cut through this. Oh, it's not that difficult. Wait, can I... Hmm... I could, I think. Let's try it. Um... 
Okay, does it look like a can? Because there's that rock over there. Maybe if I mine. Wait, what if I mine up here? Well, if I'm going to mine anyway, I might as well do it down there. And stop with the whole wasting time thing and go where I want to go. Which is down here to check if there's any some glacier or anything. There is not. Well, I don't think I need to clear out the entirety of this world. So I feel we may return to the surface. E it's Maybe grab some gems along the way if we can. You know, the non risky ones. Like this. That. And uh, these. And these. Uh, I think it was six blocks of falling that uh, blue gems needed to kill the player. So, yes, that's true. People can be killed by treasure. The very treasure they hunt. Maybe the very treasure that kills them. It's not a friendly game. Not at all. Quite punishing. But fun. Now, oh wait, 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 wait. I accidentally went past my exit. That's fine, I can just get the two gems from here as well. And. As I mentioned, I'm not going for as high as possible a score I can get because there's too many risks involved. So I guess I'm gonna go get that red gem from over here because that's really easy to get. And these blues, and these blues, and this blue, and this blue. Gonna notch that so I can get this blue, and this blue, and this blue, and this blue. And everything. Oh, I accidentally destroyed the blue. Ooh. Drop another rock on it. And another rock on it. Just to express my disappointment in my own abilities to accidentally lose some of my gems. It wasn't nifty. Ah, uh, wait. Is that safe? Cool. Right, and then we do this, and that wasn't exactly according to plan. Oh well. Blue gems can also break rocks. At times. Which is also why they can kill players. At times. Okay, now we're going too close to the mushrooms, aren't we? Yeah, let's just... Uh, leave. Sounds good. Maybe grab some dirt along the way. Just a little bit of the old dirt because I remembered how much, how many red dirt is in this particular zone. For example, we now have two, wait, six thousand, <laughs> six thousand credits, and now we have twelve thousand credits, and this means we are able to leave the game. But there's some glacier here, which is something I do require for a nice bit of score. Those freezing glacier, if I get them, count as fifty. 15,000 score if I manage to survive the level uh, they're worth absolutely nothing if you don't survive the level so it's nifty like that okay so I need to get in there I need to kill the drop bear drop bears are insta kill anywhere so very dangerous things they are you could cut through anything. I almost died there. Ah, almost. Yeah, lay that mine. <laughs> and then we're just gonna get the fuck out of here because I don't want to take that risk again. Sheesh. <laughs> I didn't expect that at all. I was like casually just strolling about, preparing to win. And then I almost get kill myself. Yeah, that just almost happened. Okay. Oh, actually, let's grab this red one as well. And, well, these one we added because you know we're right next to the place. Why not? Then we go here, refine all my dirt, and then we find 
by teleporter pass and then we leave the quarries and we win yay 24,000 points i'm gonna close on twitter anyway thanks for watching i'll see you next time still in battle i uh, know i'm not going to sit okay i'm trying to sit right now so i can't actually move and they can't actually fight so yeah gg game design